How much you like Mochi Mayhem depends on how much you like lore, how much you like these characters, and how much you like random, nonsensical fun. If you like lore like me, then I'm sorry, you're not going to get much out of it other than Petrant is the master of the Loyal Three, and of course possesses people by force by feeding them Mochi. I don't think the whole Master of the Loyal Three bit is even said aloud, other than one reacting angrily towards its retainers being turned against it, and of course in the Pokédex, and of course Ogre Pond being very pissed off at it. If you like the characters, then their interactions are probably the highlight of the DLC. Many of the lines got a chuckle out of me, such as Penny saying, more like, I've got to battle him, after Nimona says she wants to meet Kieran. Or when we get out of a seemingly random lore drop about Penny's dad being Peony from the Sword and Shield DLC, which I already made a video on. Or how Penny made herself carsick by binging half the internet because she didn't think she would get signal out in Kitakami. Or how Penny and Arvin react in horror at the idea of Kieran not having a smartphone. I don't know why so many of these favorite interactions of mine involve Penny, she's not even my favorite character. I suppose that's a testament to how well this is written. What can I say? I'm a sucker for good character interactions. Side note, while playing this, Kieran with his hair tied up makes him resemble his grandma. While his hair down made him resemble his grandpa. I didn't know why I didn't notice this earlier. Your enjoyment of this epilogue will be based on how much you like this chaotic fun, and chaotic fun is probably the only term that is appropriate to describe all this. This is exemplified best when Arvin, Penny, and Nimona get possessed. Arvin is embarrassed to high hell. Penny fully embraces the wacky nonsense of this. She even does a dramatic unhooding effect when she is fought. And Nimona is so battle-hungry that she is able to say full words other than mochi or just pieces of words. In terms of being an epilogue, the hidden treasure of Area Zero is the story of Kieran, no matter what, so it's only appropriate that he gets to be the main focus, meeting the Area Zero crew, interacting with them, and remembering the teal mask where he said it was so cool that Ogre Pond held herself against Petra Runt's minions? Well, guess who holds off against Petra Runt's minion while you, the player character, go directly against Petra Runt? And Petrant isn't just using three random Pokemon it empowered. No, no, no. It decided to possess an entire town and then blitzed the entire town at you, with Kieran holding them while you face Nimona, who has been possessed, and Petrant itself. Living the dream, Kieran. Living the dream. If you like wonderful chaos, neat character interactions, and an addictive soundtrack, this epilogue is great. Just don't expect some kind of Gen 4 or Gen 5 era lore dump to go with it. This epilogue is only an hour long at most. The most you're going to get is Petrant and Ogre Pond being angry. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril, going to make some mochi. Have a nice day.